How you guys doing? This is Derek with Dolan Woodworking. Today we're going to be reviewing this here. This is a logo iron or branding iron, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it does have my logo and Dolan Woodworking on it. If you can see that, I have used it a couple times, so you see how it kind of has some black marks or burn marks on it. Um, we're going to show you a couple demos of this. We're going to do it on a bunch of, you know, a bunch of different kinds of wood. Um, we'll see how it comes out. So far, it's kind of so-so, like it's pretty decent. I definitely wouldn't heat it up, and that's another thing. You have to heat it up with a torch. Um, it does not have like the automatic uh, plug-in, which obviously there's no cord. Um, but that's another thing. I wouldn't heat it up and then go right to the, your final product. I would definitely hit it on a couple different things because if it's too hot, it just it looks all black. Um, so you kind of want to like maybe hit it with some, on something else, hit it a couple times, like let it cool down to when it gets to that perfect temperature and then hit what you have with it. And I think that's going to be your best bet, but let's dive right in. It's going to take me a minute to warm this thing up. It does take some time. And then obviously it's kind of a guessing game, whether it's hot enough or whether it's too hot. So let's jump right in and start heating it up. Uh, one thing to know, I think this was like around 40 bucks. It took a while to get in. It is made, I think, of like solid brass. This is off Amazon, and I can post a link in the description. It all came in pieces. You had to, you had to put it together. And I do know that it seems to want to loosen up once in a while, this nut that connects it to the base. So let's heat it up. Leave that on low because I do not think that it's hot enough, but let's let's hit it and see. We'll do it enough so that we have two places here. And hit it again on this one. So it's starting to get there, but it definitely is not there yet. Let's see how we do now. Definitely see the steam and smoke coming up, so. All right, so I think it's actually a little too hot, which means as we go, it's gonna cool down a little bit, and I think that's gonna get that perfect, well. See, that's a little hot. This is pre or uh, unfinished plywood on that one. This is pre-finished. Oh. Let's see how we do. I'm gonna rock it a little bit. I can definitely feel that it's loosened up probably because of the heat. That one really wasn't that bad. Let's try the quarter sawn white oak. Uh, lift it off. That was actually a pretty good one. I feel like that came out pretty decent. This is some butcher block. I believe it's birch. But as you can see, as it cools down, it kind of gets better and better. So it's one of those things where you just kind of want to... didn't come out bad. It's definitely not quite hot enough now since it's losing some of that heat. It's one of those things where you kind of got to play with it a little bit. Let's give this a shot. Let's try this one first. This is pre-finished. I don't think, I've done pre-finished um, one of my samples trying to figure out if this is going to be good on it and it did not come out very good on pre-finished. 
So we'll take a look at that. This one here is maple. Looks like it's a little bit cool. Then let's try a, a two by four, just for fun. Kind of moving it around a little bit. I don't know if maybe just front and back would be useful, but let's do the quarter sawn white oak again. Alright, so another thing I will say is when I was doing this before, it would get a lot of black stuff on the bottom. I was able to get some of that off by spinning it while it was still hot. So, get some of that off. Actually, it's coming out pretty clean. I'll keep doing that a little bit. So overall, I really don't think it came out too bad. Um, you know, for for 40 bucks for what it is, uh, I really want to say it's probably pretty worth it. Just because the ones that come with the cord that you heat up are, I want to say it jumps to well over $100 at that point. So as long as you're okay with having to you know, play around with it a little bit, do a couple samples before hitting it. You know, if it's not hot enough, it doesn't look quite as strong. You know, or if it's too hot, it gets pretty, you know, blackens all around the logo so that it looks a little rough. And then on pre-finished, you know, it could have been because it was too hot, but I did another piece of pre-finished before, and what it did was it just peeled, started peeling a bunch of the pre-finished off and it looked really bad. So if it's in an area where you're going to see the pre-finished, I don't think I would risk it unless you hit, you know, took a sample piece of that exact material and just, you know, did a bunch of it all around to make sure that it was going to come out pretty good. It wasn't going to peel the pre-finished off. Overall, I don't regret this purchase. Um, I would, I, I don't regret it. I think it's worth it for 40 bucks. I've yet to put this on anywhere on a kitchen so far, just because I haven't had it all that long. Um, trying to figure out a good place to put it because if pre-finished isn't gonna come out too well if you do it on that, uh, I just have to figure out another place to put it. It doesn't burn deep enough to fill anything with epoxy um, or even to like hit it with a sander so that it comes out even cleaner. I, I don't think it's quite deep enough to do that. I think you just end up messing the logo up, but Overall, I'd say it was worth it. I will post a link in the description, but that is the, uh, that is the logo branding iron.